Fuck! Oh, wonders will never cease. The financial effects of the coronavirus pandemic have left vast numbers of sporting franchises struggling to survive. So much so that FC Seoul Football Club in South Korea have been debating on how, when and when the Premier League should return its players to work. That in mind, I honestly don't see on this particular ethos they thought the whole thing through. Mainly, the dangers of playing behind closed doors. FC Seoul Football Club have apologised after they accidentally used sex dolls rather than normal mannequins to populate their stadium for Sunday's game at home to Gwangju. They quote, We're sorry that we accidentally used sex dolls to replace fans in the empty ground. What? You'll be rather normal, dolls. The club have admitted they failed to make detailed checks after their supplier insisted the mannequins were not for sexual use. FC so quote, Our supplier, which incidentally provides both sex dolls and clothing mannequins, had their tossed down. We even had confirmation that the mannequins were made as if they were lifelike and real and most certainly had nothing to do with adult products. We can now see that we failed to make the checks of this product detailed enough, and this misses our fault without a doubt. A statement posted on Instagram after the 1 0 win had the club posting to the entire world, We're deeply sorry about the mannequins that were seated during the 17th May 2020 football match. However, we'd like to clarify that while these mannequins have been made to look and feel like real life human beings, they are not for sexual use as confirmed by the manufacturer. However, it was real life fans who suddenly realised that something was wrong and bombarded FC Seoul's official Instagram account as they watched the game on television. One real life fan posted, Just look at their breasts. They are four times bigger than those of normal mannequins. Another said, It was so obvious that they were sex dogs. This whole game has undermined FC Seoul's efforts to show games to other family. Some of the dolls have been dressed in FC Seoul's club kit, while others wore t-shirts with the logo of Solo S. Solo S being a sex toy seller. So if that didn't put the cream on the chaotic mess, I don't know what would have. Other clubs in the country's top division have tried different ways to fill their empty seats such as self-portraits drawn by young fans or toy versions of club mascots. Meanwhile, Reuters reports that the manufacturer of the dolls, Dalcom and the K-League itself have not commented on the awkward scenes at FC Seoul's ground. Personally, I think the upcoming video says it all. The clubs uh, were desperate to cut back because they were still waiting for last TV payment and for them, May was really the latest uh, as far as getting that money, making sure they don't run into financial difficulties. If you ask the ordinary fan, they will say, look, as long as we as fans can't take part, this is not real football. We want to wait maybe a little bit longer. Why the rush? We don't really think that chasing money is, is the right thing to do, sort of a moral position, if you will. And then I think there's people in the middle who are not quite sure, who on the one hand are going back to playgrounds with their children, even some swimming pools are opening up, but still feel maybe... Um, football is a bit quick here to come back. I think as a package piece there before, I think people will get used to this. For the fans, definitely.